Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews and an episode of uh, Sci-Fi Sunday. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I'm thinking maybe of going back to like maybe alternating like a Sci-Fi Sunday then like a Samurai Sunday. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? So we got today's review of uh, Blade Runner 2049. I gotta say, first off, right off the bat... Um, the first Blade Runner is one of my favorite movies. I've always enjoyed it. Great flick. Um, and this lives up to that. This is a great flick. Um, there's actually very little I can complain about with this. Uh, they were able to match the world perfectly. You know, it feels like, you know... 30 years after Blade Runner. It feels like that. It feels like the same world. I can really appreciate that. Visually, it's stunning. It really is. Looks great. The Blu-ray looks great. Um, I, I didn't get a chance to see this in the theater. And um, the main reason for that is one of my gripes with the movie. And that is it's a really long movie. It's uh, 164 minutes, so you're looking like uh, 2 hours and 40 minutes. Now, I dug it. I loved every part of it. But honestly, um, that should have been a director's cut. In the theater, this should have run maybe an hour and 40 minutes. They could have cut an hour out of this qu quite easily and given you a much tighter paced like story. And it would have been great. Uh, and I think it would have gotten much better box office had they done that. You know, I know a lot of people, despite it getting good reviews, it didn't make the money in the theaters. And I think it's, it, it is, it's purely just down to the length. You know, people didn't want to go for nearly three hours and sit in the theater. You know, that's kind of how it was for me. You know, I, I just didn't, I just, I just didn't want to do that. You know, um... Looking back on it now, after having watched it on Blu-ray, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably go see it in the theater. You know, if they did a re-release in the theater, I'd probably go see it because it'd be good. Um, all in all, it's a really good movie. I honestly, I wish there was more Harrison Ford in it. Um, he comes in kind of like in like the last quarter of the movie, and I, I sort of feel like he's underused. You could have made better use of having them there, but that that's just me, right? Um, yeah, but uh, effects-wise, excellent. Um, setting, tone, everything. It, it completely matches with the original, and I can really appreciate that. But I gotta say right now, I hate this cover. This 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 is, like, horrible. Like a, like a four-year-old could have come up with a better cover than this. I, I, I just really don't like it. Honestly, just do it all black and just put Blade Runner 2049. That would be enough. But, you know, it is what it is, right? So, as a rating, I give it a 9 out of 10. I The only reason I'm giving it a 9 and not a 10 is the fact that the length does kind of hurt it a bit. Like I said, it, it, make, it would make a good director's cut at this length, but a theatrical cut should have been shorter. You know. But it is what it is. Great flick. Definitely, if, if you've been sort of on the fence, give it a shot. It's worth it. Yeah, so, there we go. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to maybe try to space this out a bit better and do like a sci-fi Sunday than a samurai Sunday. Um, I missed out last week. I just, honestly, I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't make one. I was just, you know, I, I just didn't have it in me. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll try to keep these a bit more uh, ongoing, if you will. Also, down the description, we got a um, Patreon link and a uh, merch link. Um, if you feel like helping out the channel, uh, it would be really appreciated. Um, the merch link, you can buy t-shirts, my logo on it. It's a pretty sweet, I gotta say. I think it looks pretty good. Um... Yeah, so, you know, if you feel like it, there it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for now. See you next time.